Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 2, Lesson 4, Constructors, Exercise Number 4. Looks like we're going to finish off our delicious dessert class. Let's see what we have to do today, kids. The dessert class represents desserts that Project Mercury Pastry Food Trucks sells. It has instance variables for flavor and price. That's what we wrote last lesson. In dessert.java, we're going to write a parameterized constructor with the parameters string new flavor and double new price. In the body of that constructor, we're going to initialize an instance variable flavor to new flavor and price to new price. Then we're going to go over to my console and we're going to instantiate a dessert object called a chocolate dessert using the parameters chocolate for the flavor. $2.99 for the price. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Honestly, kids, we've done this already. So let's jump in and get it done. First, we need to go over to the dessert class. And now we need to write a argument for our constructors. Well, this is what a no argument one looks like. I bet our argument one's going to look very similar. Access is going to be public. Name, same as before, dessert. This time, we're going to give it some parameters that they can input. Which ones? Well, if you look, we need a string new flavor and a double new price. So that means a string new flavor. And then we need a double new price. Don't forget your curly cues afterwards. Those are the arguments we can pass along. But what do those arguments mean? Well, I want new flavor to represent the flavor so they can input their own if they want. So that means flavor is just going to equal new flavor, our new variable. And price, same thing. Price now is going to mean the new price. And that's it. That right there is a parameterized constructor with two parameters. One for a string of a new flavor and the other for a double of a new price. Now all we have to do is instantiate that new delicious dessert object. So let's go over to Java, tab over, and we're going to create a new object. What class? The delicious dessert class. And this one is going to be chocolate dessert. And it's going to be a new dessert. What are the parameters for this? Because our parentheses are not going to be empty, right? Remember back to our previous lessons. If you give it two parameters, you have to enter two parameters. So what's our two parameters? Well, one is going to be the flavor and the other is the price. So a chocolate dessert is going to be of the choc o -lat family. And for the price, we want it to be $2.99. And that's it, kids. We created a new object, chocolate dessert. And it is now of the chocolate flavor of $2.99. And our object plain dessert is just plain for free, of course, because plain should be free, kids. Let's go ahead and hit run, make sure we don't have any errors. Everything looks great. Key takeaways from this lesson is understanding what a parameterized constructor is and the anatomy of how we write one. For a parameterized constructor, we use the public keyword, the class we're in, and then we entered the parameters we want to give it. And this one we made up. It was just a string new flavor, double new price. In our previous lesson, we created two new variables, flavor and price. In this lesson, we reused those variables to overwrite it. But no matter if you call plain dessert or chocolate dessert, 
you get a different object. And that's the beauty of object-oriented programming, kids. We can create all these objects, give them all their own personality, and they're all different. Hopefully this video helped you understand what parameterized constructors are and how to write them. As always, if you have any questions, kids, come talk to me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye.